From Facebook to Instagram, misinformation about COVID-19 is all over social media. So how do we know what we're seeing is true? Our eye and health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joins us this morning to separate the fact from the fiction. Good morning again. Good morning, Gary. So let's go through a few claims. The first one says it's highly unusual for clinical trials to hit the pause button due to adverse patient outcomes. You know, that's what AstraZeneca did this week. So is that true? This is fiction. And it had a lot of people worried yesterday when it happened and AstraZeneca paused their clinical trial. But if you think about it, a phase three clinical trial has thousands of people in it. So just by the very virtue of the disease, some of those people are going to have bad things happen to them. That's why you have a placebo arm and an intervention arm to see if the rate of adverse events occurring in those two arms are different and might be linked to the intervention. So I was actually pleased to see that they had done this yesterday because to me it was a testament that the scientific process is working, they're doing the right thing, and that they're not rushing the vaccine development. Okay. There is a thing going around that says the earlier in the season I get a flu shot, because we've been telling people to get their flu shots, the more protection that I have. Is that true? No, this is also a fiction. And I want to be clear, it is very important for everybody to get a flu shot, but there really is a sweet spot for when you should be getting your flu shot, because you want to maximize your time of protection. So the way that uh, flu vaccine and immunity works is that immunity usually develops about two weeks after you get the shot and then it starts to wane in about six months. So the best time to get the flu shot is really late September or early October because if you think about the timing of the flu season which starts in late fall peaks in January and ends in April. If you want your immunity to last till April you really want to wait until that sweet spot. And then one comment I want to make is that not all flu shots are created equal. So if you're over over the age of 65, you need a special flu shot called a high dose flu shot or a flu shot with an adjuvant because you need to boost your immune system even more. All good advice for sure. Then there's one going around that says the CDC has developed a new test that can detect both flu and COVID. Is that one fact or fiction? This one is a fact, and I'm so glad that this test has been developed because as we've talked about before, the symptoms of COVID and flu are very overlapping, you really can't tell the difference. But be mindful that this is not a test that's gonna be probably available at every single testing site. So if you think you might have the flu and or COVID, talk to your doctor about whether you can get this test because only special labs carry this test that's made by the CDC. Okay, sounds good. Lots of great information, Dr. Coley. As always, we appreciate it. Be safe.